Hello Gemini, Elsie here to do your reading for the month of September. At the end of the month, at the end of every month, I usually go over the next month. It is September 1st today, so happy September to you. So I came here to give you uh, the energy for the rest of the month. Let's take a look at it here. And uh, Gemini, thank you for uh, clicking here. I do appreciate you. If you are uh, just here and uh, you have not subscribed yet, that subscription button is in the bottom right hand corner. And um, if you are the Gemini who is always here, clicking, viewing, subscribing, thumbs up. Thank you so much. It's you that are building the tribe here. And uh, if you are new, I hope you will stay. Let's find out what's going on with you. So we have a short stack of oracles. I should explain what's going on. We have a short stack of oracles today. We're going to use these to get the overall energy for the month. We're going to use the psychic tarot. We're going to ask six questions this month specifically. And then we're going to use uh, tarot to clarify those questions. Let's find out what's going on for you, Gemini. Sun, sun moon, rising. Venus and jo Jupiter. What? Oh, gosh. My lips aren't working today. Please tell me what's coming up for Gemini in the month of September 2024. Tell me about the overall energy. Okay, we've got focus. What are you focusing on this month? Put these back here. So you can see that the... Um, you can see that the leopard is here focusing on the snow, all the snow that's dropping. We do have a mountain in the background. So... It feels like you're not focusing on obstacles and I feel like you will overcome or um, have you will achieve something you want to achieve in the month of September but I feel like it's not going to be easy to get there that you're gonna have to be focused on your goal because um, mountains can be obstacles as well I feel like you're not focusing on the obstacles I feel like you are focusing like your face forward I want to say this obstacle could be something um, that has been following you around. Maybe it's from the past because the leopard is looking into the past here. Um, tell me more about Gemini. We've got stillness. Okay. Very interesting. We've got snow falling and then we have this and I, it's almost like they are stars possibly. So I feel like you're going to have to get into the stillness, be by yourself. Maybe it's on a walk. Maybe you rent a cabin and you go away or a hotel room for two days. But it feels like there is something that I feel has been following you for a while that you really need to focus on and you finally need to uh, figure it out, whatever it is. Um, I feel like if you if you are in the stillness and you go away by yourself here, I want to say that it's you're apt to get an answer that's been weighing heavy on your heart and uh, because we do have green and that is the heart chakra energy um, and we have all of this dark purple which is the third eye energy so I feel like you will get an answer you'll see something clearly if you're very focused on it it might be something that you've been trying to um, figure out for a while something that's been following you around because that um, that leopard is looking into the past here. Bottom of the deck, you're going to have illumination. Yeah, that's what I was feeling. So I feel like you will have illumination. It could be something to do with love or a loved one or someone that you love. But I feel like um, you will have your answer. You will get an illumination of some sort here. All right. One more card for Gemini, please. Tell me more about Gemini. Overall energy for the month for Gemini. We've got pride. What's this? It says, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Oh, very interesting. You know, it, it says pride, but it almost feels as though, it almost feels like it's, um, it's a forgiveness is what it feels like because you, it says, I love myself and I see myself in everyone, which means I feel you're a compassionate soul, that you try not to judge people because you know that maybe you've had problems and you would wish that people would give you the compassion that you needed to get through those things and I feel like you're giving that to other people as well I feel like you you um you're very aware of people around you that have been going through the same things as you and I feel like you're willing to help people with that see it says acceptance right and I feel like you're you're ready to accept whatever the third eye brings you. We do have light blue here. That's the throat chakra. You're going to speak it out. We do have some pink here, which is the crown chakra, getting information and downloads from the universe. Um, I've got some green here. I feel heavily that there's something weighing heavy on your heart that you're trying not to judge someone about. You're trying to accept them for who they are and how they are. Um, can be really a tough thing. It says, I'm learning to accept the things I cannot change. And so I feel like you've decided to, instead of 
pushing against things because whatever you resist will persist, Gemini. I feel like instead of pushing against something, you've decided to just open up the gates and let it flow because um, you cannot change it anyway. So there's no point in pushing against it. All right, one more Oracle deck and then we'll get to the main event here. Get to the questions for the month. Tell me about Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for September 2024. Tell me about Gemini. Gemini, if you are my ride or die and you're here all the time, thank you. And if you're brand new and you just rolled up into this these shenanigans, welcome to you. All right, we have a divine counterpart. What else do we have? A new opportunity, and we have happiness. Bottom of the deck, we have rest. So the divine counterpart came out, um, uh, first of all, it says a divine connection sent to you from your angels. Um, and this could be anybody. It doesn't have to be a romantic. It could be a friend, a new friend that's come into your life. A divine counterpart could be a boss. It could be anybody. Somebody that you get along really good with. Somebody you feel very uh, connected to in a psychic way or an energetic way or a soulmate kind of way. We have a new opportunity. It says insights gained from new experience, job, or a partner. So I feel like this divine counterpart might bring you a new opportunity. And it doesn't have to be an opportunity to make money. It can be an opportunity to learn something new because everyone is our teacher. And we have um, happiness. It says new discoveries that lead to celebrations. Love yourself first. Oh, look at this. Love yourself first. And then it says, I love myself. So I think that this month is also going to be about self-love. So make sure that you are treating yourself in a way that you would treat other people, possibly with rest. Maybe you're a person who's in perpetual motion, <laughs> someone who never stops thinking or whatever it is. It says, listen to your body mentally and physically unwind. So not just physically, but mentally as well. I feel like you need some time to yourself. That's what it feels like. All right. Gemini, there is a sale on. If you are interested in a private reading and you would like to book with me, please look at the pinned comment above all of the comments. And um, uh, my sale is between $5 and $20 off of all of my readings. So please uh, take a look over there. Prices are as they are posted. And uh, there is no code that you have to take with you this time. You will just receive the discount. All right. So I have six questions. Let's find out what's going on here. First question is, what do you need to step back from this month, Gemini? What do you need to step away from? It says balance. So balance is um, the chariot energy. And the chariot energy is the fastest moving energy in the tarot. So I feel like what you need to step back from is doing so much so quick all the time. It's time for you to get some balance in your life. So if you're the person who is very busy um, working, eating, sleeping, helping, raising children, doing all of that stuff, it's time for you to step back and and maybe balance things with some time to yourself, right? We're telling you to, uh, we, right? Me and the, and the angels that, that are your angels, listen to your body. It's time to mentally and physically unwind. So if you've been working too much, um, just doing too many things for other people in general, it's time for you to pay attention to yourself. It looks like you need to um, do a little bit of self-care. And self-care can be anything. It can be from buying, um, buying your favorite book to um, maybe it's like you just have a luxurious bubble bath with your favorite drink, hot cocoa or a glass of wine, while you have the laptop sitting on the toilet so you can watch your favorite show. You know what I mean? Like it feels like you just need to treat yourself really good this month. Second question is, what do you need to step toward this month, Gemini? What do you need to step toward, Gemini? Oh, fulfillment of wishes. Yeah, there we go. So card number nine means that this is kind of like around the corner because we do have cycles in tens, right, in the tarot. So fulfillment of wishes, I believe something that is going to make you, something that is um, you would find as a treasure, I want to say. You would call it a treasure. It might be something that teaches you something, but also might be something that makes you emotional. Emotional fulfillment, maybe fulfillment of knowledge, could be fulfillment financially. I'm just looking at all of the different things. This person's got their nose up against a flower. So make sure that you're smelling the roses, my friend. All right. What will your finances bring this month? What about Gemini's finances? We have moving on. 
So I feel like you are, I want to say that you're focusing too much on your finances. It might be that. And sometimes when we focus too much on the finances, it can cause worry. And moving on is like the Six of Swords in the Tarot. It is taking all the information. That the, the depiction of the Six of Swords in the Tarot is somebody who's in a boat um, under cloak of night. And they are uh, moving from uh, choppy waters into... Um, uh, waters that are a little bit more calm. So I want to say that uh, hyper fixating on your finances aren't going to make them grow. It's just going to make you worry. So those six swords to me is uh, it's something that is um, uh, it's the communications, connections, things you've learned that you want to take with you. So please make sure that you're not hyper focusing on the finances this month. I feel like you need to disconnect or detach from that just a little bit. Um, how can you get your financial goals this month? How can you make your financial goals? Uh, we do have movement choices and decisions so making good decisions um, you can see some of the decisions here we've got one of them is about money one of them is about relationship the other one is about maybe uh, travel going outside being very earthy getting grounded and then we have blue sky so i feel like uh, movements and choices choices that you will make this month twos are always about choices but they're also about balance so be very balanced in the way that you are making choices this month because it is going to cause movement here to toward your financial goals but i think it's going to start with your decision making make sure that you're making good decisions we're going to go back and clarify all of this so we'll have more of a, an idea of what's going on uh next question what is the most important thing you should be working on it's the most important thing gemini should be working on we do have authority. Hmm. That can be a tough one, Gemini, sometimes. Now, look, I don't think that most Geminis have a problem with authority. But look, there's a there's a, a there's so much more to you than your sun sign okay gemini you might be a gemini sun watching this and i say to you do you know your moon and your rising because g millions of people are have a gemini placement in the sun and that's your personality so it's important that you know your moon and your rising to know what kind of gemini you are some of you might be a cancer gemini cusp some of you might be a taurus gemini cusp so that's really going to make a difference now i feel like the authority is coming up in what you should be working on because I'm, i feel like there's somebody here i'm talking to that needs to step into their life and take charge it feels like there's something here that you're going to have to take charge of in september and you're not the person who usually steps into that role so i think that the universe is challenging you to be the authority on something to stand up to make the decision without anybody else's uh, input it feels like you are the person who is taking charge of your life whether you are feminine or masculine this month last card i'm putting down is going to be for the people who are looking for a new romantic partner so if you're not looking for a new romantic partner this might not um, resonate with you but if you are looking for a new romantic partner is there one coming in the future we do have the third eye chakra <laughs> look we have so much third eye energy today for you. We've got Violet here. You know you must move on. Violet here, third eye chakra, right? We've got Violet here. Um, we've got we've got some dark bluish sort of violet here. It feels like there's going to be some things that you're going to see this month that um, that you never saw before. And for some of you, you might be seeing someone who is a soulmate. We've got card number six, and so six is. Um, can be soulmate energy, but they're also about new beginnings. They're also about getting balance in whatever it is that you're doing. It's about um, refocusing and trusting the self as well. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, look at that. For those of you who are looking for love, there is love that is showing up. And not just any love. Look at that. There is some sort of a spiritual union. So you're going to recognize this person spiritually before you see them with your eyes, if you know what I mean. Like, it might even be someone that you didn't expect that you would be attracted to. But this person, you might be attracted to their energy um, first. And it's not to say you won't be attracted to the outside, but I feel like your third eye is open and um, you're seeing things that you didn't see before. That's what it feels like. What else are we going to do here? Let's get some tarot. Tell me about Gemini. Let's, let's uh, clarify some of this energy here. Let's talk about this balance. What you need to step back from is moving too quickly. I feel... Oh, yes. Sorry, I told you that this balance card was the chariot, but it's not. It's actually Libra energy. As I'm looking at the 11 at the top, I'm looking at the 11, and that's actually Libra energy, which is justice. 
which kind of changes things just a little bit. You need to step back from justice. Look, I always see you as the person who is, uh, to me, Gemini shows up a lot of the time for me uh, in my friendship group and people that I know as the person who is the, um, you know, they're Superman, they're Batman. <laughs> they're the person who is like, um, the person who is uh, always uh, finding justice or wanting to find justice for people that can't seem to step up or step into their own shoes. And so I feel like you're not supposed to entertain that this month. Um, it feels like you're supposed to step back instead of stepping forward. Tell me about balance. Yeah, to me, Gemini is like the freedom fighter. So I feel like you're the person who speaks up for others who don't seem to speak up for themselves. I think you're supposed to step back from that this month. Tell me about balance. You're supposed to bring things into balance. This is Libra energy. Uh, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. That's It's going to be a changing thing for you. I think this is something that you need to learn to change this month. Got the Hierophant. Uh, when the Hierophant shows up, it's because this is a spiritual teacher. This is somebody who's going to possibly show up to, um, to teach you something here. Because I feel like you're at a crossroads. Like I, It does feel like for somebody here that you are a person who is always ready to speak up. Right? If someone is torturing the grocery store lady who's trying to cash your groceries, you're probably going to step up and say, hey, like back away. Like we're all standing here in this lineup and you're the one. Like, you know what I mean? Like I feel like you're supposed to not do those things this month. The Wheel of Fortune is about change. It's about divine timing. And it's also about expansion. So I feel like your mind is about to expand and you're about to realize some sort of a lesson that is going to change you. And I'm not saying that you're never going to do that again, that you're never going to be the freedom fighter. But I feel like you're in the month of September taking a different um, look at it because we've got the two wands and the two wands is about making a decision to fly making preparing yourself to make some sort of a decision so I feel like in order to keep um, your month in balance it feels like you're supposed to learn the lesson of divine timing know when to do it essentially that not every minute is divine timing and step away from whatever might um, might pull you out of this energy of your spiritual self. Don't let people get you on the ropes. Don't let them rile you up. All right. Let's uh, look at what you need to step toward here. This this wish fulfillment. So I feel like you're not supposed to fill your time with fighting other people's battles. That you're supposed to fill your time in the month of September with wish fulfillment. Emotional fulfillment. Um, financial fulfillment. Knowledge fulfillment. We've got the Nine of Wands. We've got the King of Wands. And we've got the Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Just listening. There's ten wands here. There's some burdens to be dropped here. I feel like uh, the wish fulfillment for you is dropping burdens. And so maybe you're feeling burdened by something someone said to you or something that happened to you. Um, but it feels like with the Nine of Wands, who is the wounded warrior, by the way, it's the person who does carry trauma. They carry everything. Everything sticks to them and they carry it around with them until they realize they're carrying it. And then they can step out from behind the fear wall and drop it. So the Nine of Wands with the king holding um, uh, one wand, the king is the one who takes action. They're also the one who feels inspired to take action. So I feel like uh, in the month of September, I feel like your wish fulfillment is going to be you feeling inspired to drop some burdens arguments you had with people things that you've been thinking about obsessively round and round and round um, we've got the four of pentacles here it's time to shut off shut down just not share your energy with the wrong types of people it's time i feel like you've learned a lesson here this month that it's time for you to stop running in and saving people from the burning building and i'm not saying let it burn down but what i'm saying is you got to pull some of that back for yourself because i feel like sometimes you you do carry around the burdens of others. But I feel like you got to feel inspired to do that. So I feel like in the month of September, you will feel inspired to do that. Um, what will your finances bring? Moving on. I feel like you're not supposed to obsess over the finances. Tell me about moving on. 
we've got the Queen of Pentacles. It's exactly what it says. The Queen of Pentacles is the one who is financially stable. And you know, some people, even though they're financially stable, will still worry. That's called living in scarcity. That I'm scared that even though I have everything that I need, that it could fall through, fall in at any moment. I feel like the Queen of Pentacles tells me you have enough. And if you don't, that's this message probably isn't for you. But I am talking to someone who does have enough. Maybe it's just enough, but you do have enough. And so I feel like you're supposed to disconnect or detach from the thoughts of scarcity. Uh, we do have the King of Cups. And we do have the Judgment card. So I feel like, uh, you know, the King of Cups is Scorpio energy. Also Pisces and Cancer in this general read. But um, that Scorpio energy. And Scorpio doesn't really let things bother them on the surface. They won't let anybody see that it bugs them on the surface. But they're like a duck on a pond, right? Scorpio is like floating by, floating by. But then underneath, like their little legs are going like a thousand miles a minute. So I want to say that um, although you don't let people see it bothers you on the surface, maybe you're having feelings of scarcity or feeling like you don't have enough um the judgment is make the decision make the decision to let it go uh to let go of it and you won't have to pretend that things aren't good on the surface um the scorpio energy is like it's almost like you hide it from people that you're worried about it so i feel like you're not supposed to worry about your finances make that big decision i feel that decision will change your life because judgment is really big deal it's not the two of wands it's not choosing to okay go on that path or the other this is a trajectory of like it puts you on a different trajectory in your life. So I feel like you kind of need to um, detach from this feeling of not having enough. Maybe you need to focus on love, focus on things that are of an emotional state rather than focusing on your finances. All right, all right. Next question. Um, how are you going to make your financial goals? Just as I told you, just to back away from your finances. <laughs> I feel like you are going to be making some financial choices. Like maybe you have these decisions coming up that you know big bills are coming up or you know that um, there's some big decisions you have to make financially. And maybe that's why you're worried about this, right? It could very well be that. So um, it feels like here you're going to be making choices and decisions that are going to cause movement in your life when you make your financial goals. We've got the world card. We've got the Three of Wands, and we've got the Devil Energy. So you are waiting for um, for a, a, a point in which you are going to be making some sort of decisions. The Three of Wands is here. I feel like you're you're going to turn your back on old chapters. I want to say that you are with the with the World card. The World card is the end of a chapter. So the Major Arcana goes from the Fool card all the way to the World card, which is the twenty first card in the series. That's like your life path. And I feel like you're at the end of a cycle where you're just going to close the door on something. So it does feel like making your financial goals might mean you sell a house or you sell a vehicle or maybe you've decided to sell a computer or something in the house. It could be that in order to meet the financial goals. You're closing the door on something, closing um, um, the door, closing the chapter, but it is also a milestone. It's also achievement. So something that you're going to achieve, I think you're going to achieve your, your financial goals this month by, um, I feel, turning your back on things you don't need, not spending extra money, right? We've got the devil energy here, and the devil energy is you know, can put you in a tailspin. It's toxicity, it's it's overspending, it's also doubt, it's also feeling like you don't have enough or feeling chained to something. So, you know, when we when we feel when we use our material possessions, right, um, as something of status, we want to show people what we have, it we're chained to it, right? It's an attachment. So I feel like you're supposed to turn your back on it, let it go, not let go of the things, but let go of the idea of that you must have all of these things in order to make your financial goals for the month. I feel like you are changing your mind or um, bringing things full circle in some respect, I think. So there are choices and decisions that you're going to have to make in order to make your financial goals. And I think some of those are going to be you selling things or realizing you don't have that much of an attachment to a certain thing and you can let it go. All right. And what's the most important thing you should be working on? We have authority. I feel like you're taking charge this month. And it might be about your finances. It could be about other things. But I feel like this month is a month you're supposed to step up and make the, the biggest decisions here. We've got the strength card in the reverse. For me, the strength card in the reverse is inner strength. And so I feel like you have to find the inner strength to um, uh, make to stand up as an authority and 
say something like make people hear you here we've got three of pentacles um maybe it's with a friendship it could be with that uh we do have the moon i feel like the reason you haven't done it yet is because the moon is about not really knowing what's coming up not knowing how they're going to react not knowing if they're still going to want to stay in your life if you take a stand on something so i feel like the most important thing that you need to work on is standing up for yourself letting them know who's in charge you're in charge of your own life you won't be someone who can be talked out of things it's inner strength that you're working on and it might be with some people that you have connections with um, the three of pentacles is um, about coordination um, helping people out but i feel like that you are taking back your power with the authority energy here um, that is emperor energy and the emperor is the leader of the empire which means overlooking all of the kingdoms and you know the kings and queens get their information from the emperor and the kings and queens are not the ones who are going to tell the emperor what to do so i feel like if you have other people in your life that are telling you what you should be doing i feel like the moon energy is saying the reason that you haven't stepped forward sooner is because the moon energy is all about things aren't as they seem so you're unsure so once you get comfortable with being uncomfortable i feel like the three of pentacles gives you a good foundation to begin with to start from here all right <clears throat> So the good eye, the good thing is, is that your third eye open is open this month. Your third eye is all the way open this month, it seems like. And for some of you, it's to look for a romantic partner here. And when you have the third eye open, it's way easier to find someone you're compatible with because the third eye is open and you see everybody for who they are, right? You see it all. Tell me about the third eye chakra and a new connection. We do have the seven of swords, the justice, yeah. So the seven of swords is about, I can pick a liar out from a lineup. <laughs> That's what it is. When your third eye is open, I'm telling you, you when you, your third eye is open, you will sit in a room, you can read a person, you can read a bitch, you can read, <laughs> you can see it coming. So I feel like this is very interesting energy here. With the third eye open, you know what is good for you and you know what is not good for you. We do have balance, right? Doing the right thing, saying the right thing. Um, justice, right? It's justice um, uh, being balanced in your energy. It's Libra and energy. And then we have the seven of swords. So I feel like uh, the seven of swords is um, you will see people that come toward you that are liars, that are cheaters, that are holding things under the surface. There isn't a whole lot of things you won't be able to feel or see. And that is what is going to be your justice here. We do have the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is the argumentative ones. The ones who think that they know more than you do. The ones who are in conflict and disagreement and they want battles. That's what they're looking for. So I feel like your third eye being open, looking for love is a perfect thing. Because you're going to be able to pick, pick people out of the lineup that you don't that you don't trust. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty short list of the people that you do trust because the third eye is wide open. So we do have um, the Ace of Cups. We do have the Five of Cups. This is what you're trying to avoid is the Five of Cups and the Tower. Some people that don't have their third eye open or don't believe that they do, um, they wait for the Tower to make them sad and then they know they're going the wrong way. But I think for you, I feel like for you with the third eye open, you're going to find love. We've got love begins here. And I feel like you can avoid the Tower I mean, no, really nobody can avoid the tower, but I feel like you can avoid the sadness of the tower by getting your third eye open here and knowing what's good for you and knowing what's not good for you, uh, seeing the ones who are really just trying to get your goat, cause an argument, fighters, arguers. I feel like you're going to see all of those coming here. All right. I'm going to leave that right there. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I do appreciate you. I will go for now, but I'll be back because I'm always back. Love you, Gemini. I'm out. Bye-bye.